Hey, what's up everybody? Fate here and welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be going through episode 33 of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Let's get into it. In the last episode we went, we made some progress on what we were doing in here in the Victory Road. And in this episode we're going to continue. Hopefully, I'm hoping that this is the last episode that I have to make these types of sh movements. But, we'll see. First thing I actually want to do though is... Power up pocket and water stone. I actually want to go ahead and evolve my poly world. There's no more there's no level up moves I could potentially get on. So I just want to go ahead and get him into a polyrath just to get him in the Pokedex and that way he at least somewhat set up. not a bad move. Brick break, I feel like it's a bad move. Besides, what move would I get rid of for the fighting thing? What does this do? Damages the user. I thought it was one of those moves where it, like, lowered defensive stats. Oh, but that's also, that's a recoil move. That's a recoil move. I could go ahead and get rid of, uh, I could keep Skull, get rid of Hydro Pump, because if you think about it, Hydro Pump, it's 80% accurate, 110% power. It's a special move. And there's only five, you can only move, use it five times. Scald has, you can use it 15 times. It has less power than Hydro Pump, but while Hydro Pump had 80% accuracy, this move had 100% accuracy. They were both special moves. <clears throat> And on top of that, Scald has a chance to burn the target. So, I feel like Scald would be better than, some, than a Hydro Pump for this guy. Even though Hydro Pump is a really good water type move, I feel like Scald would just be better just because of accuracy. You know what I mean? And because it won't... It can't burn the target like the other thing can. Not candy pocket. I have eight rare candies. I could use that to get Polyrath all the way up to level like 53. I knew I had 5, I didn't know I had 8. Damn, that's a 5. Let's try to get past this Machoke without getting into battle. There's another coach trainer down here. The last one I battled that was down here fucked me up real bad. Alright, well, this, this stone has to be going somewhere down here, so let's see where it goes. In. Uh, where would it go? There's no shame in looking around. Let's get this trainer out of the way and collect this item. Are any of my Pokemon knocked out right now? I think they have one Pokemon knocked out right now. Okay, okay it looks like Pikachu's knocked out. I think some of my Pokemon might be in a bad position. Health pot? I'm pretty sure that I stronger than this bug. Oh, maybe it's the other way around. Yup, it is. Okay, well, I'll the down. I think that was one of the Pokemon I still need to level up. It doesn't need to be leveled up as much as some of the other guys. Yeah, you need to level up. Golem would be good against this guy, but not only the Charizard would also be good against this guy. Wait a minute, let me check his nature. I want to check Charizard. That boosted attack, lowered special attack. That's both good and bad for Charizard. Because I'm pretty sure Charizard is good with both physical and special attack. Which isn't something you can say about a lot of Pokemon. But at the same time, signature moves like Flamethrower will be weakened because of the lowered special attack. So this could be. Unless the red is the good thing. I'll just use a wing attack because of how low he is. I don't want to waste the wing throw yet. If his next Pokemon is weak to fire, then yeah, I'll just keep throwing right out there. Golem got a level, nice. Marowak? Pure ground type. Well, Charizard wouldn't be bad. But if he uses a ground type, move on with me. 
Polygraph's too low of a level, and Golem's too low on health. So I guess Charizard wouldn't be that way. What a move would I do? I don't think it's super effective. It's not. It's not really too loud of it. It's less than I thought it would. But it also doesn't make sure. If you drag it right, the flamethrower is not going to be effective on this guy. I'm totally not going to be effective. I think drag it right is going to go. I can try a slash, but I think drag it right might be good. Let's try a slash. Uh, if he does a double edge here, I think he's good. He might die to something stupid. Okay, but the good thing I have speed, so I'll just turn with the slow. Okay. And now he's gone. Cool. So turn now out of the way. Let's grab the idol and then move on to uh, try to find where this big whatever it is this thing is rock thing. Let's try to figure out where it goes, shall we? Where to push it to. Not that way. Maybe it's this way? I think it's Come on, Macho, really? So I'm in a really weird mood right now. It's like I'm feeling good, but at the same time, I'm like, I feel like I could get really pissed really easily right now, while at the same time, I feel like. I'm, it feels like I'm chilling, but it also feels like I'm not at the same time, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. Uh, anything off to Jenny just killed my team. So that's nice. Uh, I gotta remember that off to Jenny right there. I thought she was like earlier on in the cave, which is why earlier I was just like, okay. Like when I, like in the last episode I found the series, I was just like, okay. Uh, I could be fucked here. Off to Jenny's not anywhere nearby, you know, I can't or anything. Do I have to bring that? Hold it thing all the way over here. No, that would be dumb. Uh, where would these go? I guess I could go down that, uh, that hold I pushed the, uh, other rock in. And see where it, it was gonna go. Or maybe... Oh, fuck. Well... Well, I guess now I can still go through this hole. I don't think it's gonna go up there. It could, but... Okay, it's gonna... Does it just go straight across? Ooh, it looks like it just might go straight across. So I'll just, uh, Keep going straight across the whole time. If it goes in a different direction afterwards, then I'll try to angle myself to where it'll go in a different direction. Uh, once we get to this leg over here, okay, that way if I do need to check... You know, I don't need to change this direction. That's a good thing. I can just keep going in this direction the whole fucking time. If I push it downwards, then I might be able to Yeah, especially with that torch thing. Yeah. Good thing I don't have it. And a couple more pushes. And bam. Now I have no idea what opening this thing does. I think it lets me access that very the ladder that had that coach trainer in. Now let's try to get past these two. Let's get past the Rocky duo. There we go. We're probably gonna have to fight this maniac. Yes, we do. Cool. It's fine. What the bozo? Dun, 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 Last one. Oh, yeah. I threw him in the front for cannonball. If I ended up ever doing that. <clears throat> I ended up being in a position where I had to sacrifice a Pokemon. Black Pokemon is going to be the one I sacrificed in this case. I don't need to level him up at all. Because he's not going with me. Because I'm taking Polyrath and stuff. Yeah. So because I planned that out. And hopefully, my plan with my shiny gas is over on the Pokemon up so easy. Hopefully I'll get that done before I actually do my OE4 camp in that one video. That way I can replace my Venusaur with Game Boy. So, well, I'll just have to keep playing the shit out of Let's Go until I get to that point. 
by the looks of not just the shiny Gasly, but the rest of the team I had on them, we're really behind on that. It might just be better to send the shiny Gasly back over to this game and just level grind the shit out of the on this game. You know what I mean? Like, it might just be better to do that. I love the BB. Like, it might just be smart if I deleted the save data for that. For my Let's Go BB account, and just restarted the whole thing. Because my Pokemon are underleveled as fuck. So I can either stay with that save file and basically double, like, all my Pokemon's level. Because that's literally for this number. I'm in the position where I'm at. I'm four gym badges in. And the next gym I need to do battle. It's basically the position that I was stuck in in this game for a while after the first 20 episodes of this series. Where I was just like kind of in a bad. I was just kind of stuck in a way. Like it was kind of bad type shit. Yeah, let's battle. But, uh. I was kind of in that kind of position. And now that, now that I'm out of it on Let's Go Pikachu, I'm actually not out of it on Let's Go Pikachu. And I think it might just be better if I sent the Shining Gasly over to my Let's Go Pikachu. Or just kept it in Pokemon Home and then sent it over to Let's Go Eevee. After, you know, uh, letting my Let's Go Pikachu build up. You know what I mean? That way I have, like, a good... Shiny Gasly has a decent level on the team off the rip. And then I can actually That way it'll actually be a good member of the team like the level. Hell, maybe I can bring it to the Elite Four on that team. I doubt it. That could be a good idea though. The only problem is I'm gonna have to get like a two or three gym badges on that game without having my shiny glasses on. Well, Shiny Gengar, I don't even have Shiny Gaffy right now. Gyarados? But, uh, yeah. And then maybe, well, hopefully by the time I get to the game, it's not up to the Shiny Gaffy. Shiny Gaffy will probably evolve into Shiny Ponder. I'm not gonna make it become a Shiny Gengar until I'm ready for it to go to this game that you guys are seeing now. The rest of it will just happen on camera. I'll send the Shiny Haunter over to my Let's Go Pikachu copy that you guys are seeing me play through right now. And then, uh, and then I will, since I also have a show on this copy of the game, that I need to evolve the trade. Once the Shiny Haunter is ready, I will go grab my mom's switch, and then I will uh, do the trade evolutions for both the Shiny Haunter and the regular Machoke. That way all my trade evolutions get done. And I can use the cat. It might be dumb because Pikachu is at least the level... Pikachu is the minimum level I want him to be right now. Whereas Golem, on the other hand, is still two levels behind from the minimum level I want him to be. At the same time, though, now that the guy is not only but he's also a weak to something like that. Blastoise is dead right now, but it doesn't matter too much. Nice Polyrath game level. Love to see Polyrath game level. Let's take my boy Alex and Emma. Toro is coming in. Pikachu has Brick Brick, so I'm gonna throw Pikachu in, pull Golem out, and at least if Pikachu goes down, hopefully not only like okay, it's not a problem if Pikachu goes down, considering he's already the minimum level I want him to be. The only thing I ask is that if it's going to kill my Pikachu, I really hope I at least land this Brick Brick to do plenty of damage. Okay, so if I survive this turn, Pikachu is gonna drop. 
So if I go first here, I should finish off the course with this first break. Which I do. Perfect. Love to see it. Landed a critical hit in the process. Love to see it. And now this guy's been defeated. Now we're also halfway through the video. TM for outrage that makes sense considering he kept fucking spamming it. Alright, I'll take it. Another TM to add in my collection. Is this the ladder that I wanted to hit? Wanted to go down, I mean. Let's see. What's over here? This isn't the exit, is it? It's Route 23. Wait a minute. Is this the end of the uh, Victory Road? Am I making it to the end to go flash over? Oh, no, there's nothing. Okay. Because I remember there was a certain location I wanted to go to to get some certain TMs. Oh, I, I just made it. That's the place right there. Patrick gives me this badass in the Oh, yeah, Pete, too. Check it out. Maybe I want to change my outfit one more time. The Pokemon League. Pika? What's a Pikachu? I'm counting on you. Pika. I love my Pikachu. He's so cool. I agree. The only problem is, I'm pretty sure the, the uh, starter in the game, like the Pikachu or the Pikachu, depending on the game you're playing, I'm pretty sure they're bound to the game you're playing. So say you want to pull out the Pikachu, from your Let's Go Pikachu copy, like your starter. <laughs> so you want to pull them out to, uh, to keep them and shit? Well, you're forced to keep them in the Let's Go game that you got them from, and you don't, you don't get another choice, you don't get another choice or say so about that. So, yeah, have fun with that. Okay, we have healed our Pokemon here. Let's talk to all the guys that are in here. Uh huh. Maybe these guys will give me some like last minute items. So that's what I'm checking. Okay. Okay. There's a shop guy here. Actually, oh, this guy is. I think this is the guy that will trade you if you give him an Alolan Executor. No, if you give him a regular Executor, he'll give you an Alolan. I got three big pearls to sell. Okay, so let me go ahead and sell them. What is beach glass? Not that. What is beach glass? Uh huh. Well, I don't know what that does. It doesn't look like you can get much money on this stuff. And I want to keep this heart scale for mover learning purposes. So. Is there anywhere else I can get a. Is there another way I can get a heart scale? I don't know. I'm selling these drugs right here. The X items. I don't really know much of them. I don't really think they're useful in my opinion. I haven't had much of them. Let me talk to the rest of these guys. Uh, I think I already talked to that guy. Oh, you're the fucking movie learner. Finally. Uh. I don't really want to talk to her about the last one in this one. A polygraph. Ooh, not like that. Ooh. Bulk up would be a really good move for it. I don't think I want it. I don't think I want any of these. Yeah. I, I still get to keep me up. I, I still get to keep my heart skill right. I didn't really technically give it to you. Wait, so if... Let me check something. Let me step out of here real quick. And... Am I able to fly back here? Because I am not trying to go back through the, uh... The, uh... Victory Road. I can fly here, right? Yes, I can. Let's go. Okay, now that that's done. I need to... Go back and research... Uh... TM location. Serebii, that's what I want to see. Headbutt. 
What? Let me check the TMs I have first. So I, I want to collect all the TMs. You know what I mean? So TM case. Let me do it by number. Okay, I have. I'm missing seven to ten. Damn, I'm missing protect. Celadon City. Okay, so let's go to Celadon real quick. I guess we'll just begin the hunt for TMs throughout the next few. Fuck, it, not that. One. Throughout the next few episodes, I'll just go on the hunt for TMs. Celadon. I need to head to Celadon. I feel like there's a lot of. Uh, wait, what does it say? They're place guard. Oh, I think there's a lot of TMs that I think are getting sold at the department store, and I think Protect is one of them. I think that's why it says sell it on city. Now, let me go check the department store if I, once I find it. Hey, this guy's a polyrath, too. This isn't the department store, is it? I don't remember what floor in this building that uh, they sell the, uh, oh, in the department store. I gotta guess which floor that they sell the TMs at. You're not a... Okay, I don't know. Oh, does this say what floor is what? Okay. Iron's Market, Video Game Shop, Wise Man Gift, Sessions Market. Really? Okay, I'm just gonna have to start guessing. I'm gonna go... Trainer's Market first. Well, I feel like the Video Game Shop is gonna be the guy selling TMs. Because they could be like, oh hey, video game disc. Uh, 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 uh. Watch out. Person. Oh, this person's selling TMs. Okay. Let me check the other guy first. These TMs are going to be I think that guy's selling shadow ball. Oh no, this guy's just a regular shopkeeper. This guy's well fucked. How much money would I need for everything? First off, let's buy shadow ball. I'm going to need that. Okay, so let's get Shadow Ball out of the way first. Okay, let's buy the two cheap ones next. Will I be able to afford all these TMs? Let's see. Let's get the 20k one. Now let's do some math. 100k. Okay, that's 160k. I can afford it. Let's get Hyper Beam. Let's go ahead and get all these TMs real quick. I'm going to be left here with not much money. But I think I'm, I'll be left with 40k. Almost 50k, actually. Yeah, 47k. And I bought all the TMs from here? Okay. So I don't think... Unless there's a TM hiding somewhere. I don't think I got Protect, actually. Did I get Protect from here? How do you get Protect? Did I? What number is it? Seven. Yeah, I don't have it. It's... in right? Yes, it is. Along with Reflect. I need to look for... Uh, protect and reflect. Which both should be here. Huh. Where would they be? I guess I could go through all the buildings and talk to people. Maybe eventually someone's gonna give me one. I'm glad I now have the. Uh, I'm glad I now have those TMs that I've got. Let's see here. Maybe it's one of these buildings. Okay, if it's at the department store, then it says where it's like that's the department store. Poison jab, scald, I already have the scald team. Uh, Alright, I'll look for this one. Let me get these, uh, let me try to find protect and reflect real quick. Just keep talking to these bozos until eventually they get it done. the light screen TM, so maybe the guy that gave me the light screen TM can give me the uh, reflection. 
It looks like every yeah I get it every single Pokemon can look like that. You don't have to give me this list. Cut this tree over here real quick and then access these buildings and access this gym. I am glad I got the Shadow Ball to you and actually teach it to you. Now I know where to grab it for a uh, uh, easy copy as well. Oh, nice. Personally, I like the uh, adamant nature on here. I'm looking for right now aren't really too useful. Poison jab on him. Okay. Well, there's that TM out of the way. Cool, I found that. That's the fun for protecting the reflection. You know? I hate the fact that those words are so damn similar. Maybe they're. Maybe someone inside the game corner has the TM? Maybe. I feel like I've already talked to all these guys over the past. Maybe I have, maybe I have. I talked to a Clefairy and it gives me the reflecting on that would be great. I doubt that talking to Pokemon would actually give me anything. Yeah, I think I'm right. Yeah. Maybe I can find out what it is. No, nothing is that. Oh, 
Oh, that has to be post game stuff right there. It's showing me. I'm assuming these are post game streams because they're just showing like level 65 to 75 Pokemon. Maybe they have to be just uh, post game streams. Oh, TM TM06. Give girl in the park store fresh water. Do I have a fresh water? I'm pretty sure I do. Maybe I used it though if I did. Well, I don't have one, so we... Maybe they'll have one in the department store though. I'd probably buy the one. Oh, there's another one that wants a soda pop. Okay. I think those are the TMs I'm missing. Let me figure out who the people are that that want them first, I guess. Um, maybe they're in the room that you can buy this stuff from. It said, I think they both said they're girls. So, um, I'm gonna, once I get these two TMs, I'm actually just gonna probably end the video. I wanna get these TMs first, so I don't forget what I'm doing. Person's just talking about Iron Tail, which is cool, I guess. Do you sell fresh water? Who will sell fresh water? Okay, this person does not sell fresh water. And I know this guy's the TM guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the technical machine shop that I have sold them out for. With almost 50k to spare, luckily. Which is good. For me. Okay, what? Okay, what? The helping hand. What the hell do you mean? What the video game? Can you speak chat? Let's go. Wise Man's Guild. I might have a soda pop to give that one to Wait, I think there's a penny machine on the top floor. We got you. I need, it says I can, okay, I already have TM6, I need 7 and 9, I need to give a girl a lemonade and give a girl a soda pop, I assume those are both in this section, which I do not have either unless they're in a different section, are they not here, no, I just don't have them, I think there's a uh, vending machine on the roof, though. maybe, go to the accessory market, I think on the roof there's a vending machine that I can get both those items from. Uh, cool. Okay, let's go up here. Pretty sure this is the room. Yes, it is. Um, vending machine right here. I needed the fresh water, right? Uh, fresh water was the one I didn't need. Soda. Okay, let's get the lemonade then. Thanks, controller drift. Good thing I still needed that. I'll just soda pop. Thank you. Now that I have all those, let's. Just, okay, are you the? Give her a drink. Yeah. Give her a wish drink. Uh, soda pop. Uh, I got the reflecting. Okay, can I just keep giving her these drinks? Oh, let's go. Let's give her the fresh water. Okay. Yes. Because I already gave her the fresh water. Give her the lemonade, and she gives me the protect TM. I think that's it for those. Yeah, it looks like there's no more TMs in this city, which is good. 
Alright. There. Now that I got those, I'm actually going to uh, keep the list of TMs available. That way, I think I'm actually going to pull it up on my Google for my computer. I'm going to do that once this video is over. That way, I can keep it for future episodes of the series. That and stuff. But before I end off this video, I want to see. Now that I have the Shadow Ball team, I want to see who can. Learn. All right. So let's see who can learn the Shadow Ball team. First, let's sort the items by number. All right. We still need team number eight. We have team ten. What's team oh, eight? Sub. We need to go to Saffron City for it, but we'll do that in the next episode. That'll be the first team I go for. In the next episode. Where's Shadow Ball? I don't know what's in that I mean, there's Shadow Ball. Is. Um Shadow Ball something. There it is. Okay, I want to teach it to Alakazam. That was the Pokemon that's on this current team that I wanted to teach Shadow Ball. And I'm getting rid of Night Shift. I think Recover would be good. Calm Mind would be good for setup. And then Psychic will be great because Psychic type with stab moves like that is crazy. But now that I've done that. I'm going to end the video off here, guys, so if you liked what you saw, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you want to check out my other socials, you can go to the about section of the channel, or to the description of this video and all my, and all my other videos. And with that all being said, my name is Fate, this has been episode 33 of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>